The continental United States has never experienced this much rain at once since mankind began keeping records. The National Weather Service says 130 centimeters have fallen on Houston so far and more is coming. Epic and historic. These are words used to describe this monster known as Harvey. President Trump's visit to Texas came as the tropical storm briefly left land to hover over the Gulf of Mexico. Emergency workers used the respite to try to reach the last of those stranded. Thousands have been rescued. We're going to be here until the last person leaves. There are still hundreds of broken down vehicles strewn across the city of Houston, some completely submerged in water. Emergency crews will eventually get to each one checking for possible victims, but they simply have not had time to do that yet. And we are only halfway through the storm. Harvey is expected to make a second landfall on Wednesday. In its wake, a growing number of confirmed dead. That includes a family of six swept off a bridge and a Houston police officer killed as he tried to get to his post. Unfortunately, in the darkness, Sergeant Perez drove into an underpass. It's about 16 and a half feet, drove into the water and he died uh, in a flood, uh, in a drowning type event. And the danger continues as Houston's swollen rivers and reservoirs rise to historic levels. The waters breached a reservoir and a levee on Tuesday, causing emergency evacuations downstream. I would advise everybody to just come on out because when we went in originally, it was like midways. But when we went back for the second time, it was up to my neck. While visiting the devastated region, Trump praised the response to the crisis, but made no mention of the dead dying or displaced. But he did promise that more help is on its way. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Houston.